Well, you guys asking this question the most, how to start? What would be my first move or first routine? There is no better time than now. And today, guys, I will show it to you first 10 moves that you should learn if you're just getting into learning bar tricks. Always start with a napkin and this one is really simple. So just uh, start holding it like this is the napkin, hold it in your left hand and place it on top of your fingers. Try not to make the moves really short and try to do like this, one and two, put it upside down. And the second version of this move is also really simple. So let's say you take napkin like this from Bar Caddy and then you place a fingers on top and try to do like this, one, two, one, two. So once you grab it like this, put it upside down and it just end up on top of your fingers and you place it on top of the bar. Super smooth and easy. One more time, see the napkin, you take it, two. Now we need to ice it up the glass and you see I'm picking it up and then just do this movement. You see it's like a full rotation and one, two, and I'm just pretty much ready to put ice. So it just, this is the movement, one, two. Try a few times, maybe just like with, with empty hand. Also, the same move could be done with shaker. One, two. Next is shaker. And instead of just uh, take it like this, you see what I do? I'm gonna hold my hand here ready to catch and basically just tap the top a little bit so it's fall into your right hand. So you see, and it looks really different when you come, one, two. Okay, next, you move it into your left hand. So just try to do it a few times. Uh, this move is so good, you guys will be able to do with everything. Eventually, you will be able to do it like with liquid, so you just like pour a little bit and then you will be able to do this. The same with ice. You need to put one scoop of ice and do this rotation. Try not to do it slow, just like this. You can do it one and then bring it on top of the bar, but once you get better, you will be able to pretty much do this. You put a scoop of ice and bring it straight on top of the bar. So next, we need to put a Cheeto shaker on top to chill. So there's two ways. The easiest one, you can just do the same way, just like you did with your left hand. So you can do this one and place it like this. Or if you put just slightly more effort, you can just do this little throw. So you see, it's super, super simple. It's like not even full rotation. Don't throw it too hard. So basically, this is the grip. This is how you hold it. And then you do like this. So, and you have shaker in your hand and then just try to do it a few times. Try not to hold it lower because you will have less control of catching it. So like, it's kind of a little cheating if you like hold uh, uh, fingers like here, ready to catch. So, and this is how you do it. Pam, pam. First one, easiest or the second version. And now we're ready to pour. So you uh, just, I would recommend before you start using uh, liquid, of course, practice with plastic bottle. And this is the grip, right hand, hold it between middle finger and index and hold it like this. So, and try to do rotation. You see 360 from here to here and pour. So this, this looks really nice. One, two, then cut and pour again and cut. This probably is the most challenging from this routine because uh, it will be a little different depends on the amount of liquid. So I'm going to show it to you with full bottle and you will see how it looks. See the grip, you grab a bottle just like this, like top of the neck and you do full rotation and into the pour. Do the cut and then do pour a little bit more. Of course, if you need it, cut again. And when you finish here, you can bring it back to the well or you can just do full rotation like this. If you have less than half full, you get the only wrist working and you just do this move. If you have like completely full bottle, what you can do is just you need to make this move a little wider. So you see like this, one, two. If you, for example, have like a little bit less than half full, so you see we have like water here and you can just do it like this. Palm, pour. Take it straight from the well and then you do the move. One, you just up, the easiest, a little bit harder when you have to do two, two, stop, and the third one the hardest. Bam. Next would be move with jigger and I can tell you it would look the best and easiest to do with a Japanese jigger. So what you need to do is just, for example, normally you would just pour ingredient and pour, but now we're gonna pick up jigger with the index and middle finger and try to do this rotation. This is the easiest version. Reverse grip, you put upside down and then pour. Or the second version where you can just do roll over the thumbs. With your fingers, you push it over and it also end up in this position. So you see, like this. Doesn't matter what part, you can put it like this or upside down. But what I would recommend to do if combine this 
with the roll over the thumb, but do it at the same time. And look how beautiful it looks. So you have ingredient, you pick up jigger, one, two, and then you're ready to pour. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so next would be move the spoon. I'm gonna use the long one or a little bit shorter, but you guys will be able to do with any spoons. Okay, so this is for example, if you need to uh, stir, for example, or if you would like to add ingredient like I showed to you, basically this is the move. You can hold, this is the basic one, like this, just between your index and thumb, and then do one single rotation. Your middle finger push it, and this is one full movement. You see, it's just one, two, and bring it back and ready to stir. So uh, I can tell you that it will be a little bit easier if you actually use a long spoon. So you see, one, two, and you're ready to stir. But to make it look even better, instead of just holding it like this, I would just recommend to hold it horizontally. That's why it would look better if you do it this way. One, two. So you see, this is exactly the same move. One, two, but we just hold it this way. And you see, I don't start it uh, right away, straight when looking left. I move it a little bit even more. So you see, I started here and did full rotation and end up here, like this. Palm, palm. Option number one and option number two. I also forgot to mention that you can just make it look even better if you like move it from left to right or if you just move it up and down. So now it's time to get rid of water from this shaker and next comes trick with the strainer. Well, this is probably the easiest one in this routine. Uh, all you need to do, I'm using, by the way, this strainer. Uh, I love it, but you guys will be able to do it with any strainer. So you just place it like this, so, and then you do rotation 360 with your index. So this is the move. You just do like this, one, and then you're ready to strain. You also can make this move look a little better if in just instead of like do it here, you can move it from left to right, like other moves too. So like this, one, two, like for example, if your sink is on the right side, you pick it up and then just do it like this and then strain. Next actually takes a little more practice, so that's why I would just recommend to practice with ice. So now we have this setup where you need to add ingredients on top of uh, fresh ice and we normally just pour, close it and start shaking. But this is what I would recommend to do. So let's say you have liquid here. Let's put some ice. And now look, just try to practice a few times this really cool move. Uh, again, instead of just doing traditionally where you pour ingredients, close it and start shaking. So now we're going to do it this way. Uh, make sure you have um, plenty of room, nothing around. You hold shaker like this on the bottom. Your left hand sort of like supporting here, not super obvious, but just slightly supporting. And try to cover it a few times so it's supposed to look like this. Again, just without ice, like this, pretty quick. But now with ice, the same way. Just you need to do it a little bit fast. Palm cover it and start shaking. It, it's not gonna make any difference if you put liquid now, it's just for practicing because your goal is just basically cover it really quick. And we're using standard Boston shaker, 28 ounces and 18 ounces Cheeto shaker. So they fit perfectly into each other. This is our drink. This is our fresh ice. Keep in mind guys, you will be able to incorporate these tricks into any cocktails if you make a Negroni old fashioned, any classic or modern cocktails. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button like this and I'll see you guys next week.